Today we have another colorful and creative way to prompt some early literacy play with your kids. We've got a few materials here that we've gathered for this activity, but the materials are just the beginning. We're pretty sure you're gonna laugh, pretty sure you're gonna learn. So let's get crafty and let the learning begin. So for today's activity, we used a wide range of materials. We used construction paper, we used pipe cleaners, glue, Play-Doh, cardboard, and felt. And we even used some ornamental decorative pom-poms. You're really just gonna do some twisting and turning and some clipping where needed. Okay, do you say Q? You're gonna make Q! Q! Uh, which one are you gonna make again? K. K, interesting. I see. I see you. I'm making a K. That is a pink. You know that's pink, right? Yeah, I like pink and black. No. I will see if you can spell the word. It's symmetry. Because it's the same. If we cut it in half, it's the same. Nice, that's right. No. What other words can you spell with an O and an X? You have any, have any ideas? Box! There you go, box. Oh, you know what? We need. Are there any? Do we do we move the L around? Did you grab the L? I can we need an L. Make 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 you. Oh, you're in a big L. Nice. Look <laughs> look. I was kind enough to make you an L. So let's make let's spell you. Can we spell your name? L. Look, you have an E. L. You want to make another L? Make it. Go for it. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Let's see what, let's see what you can do. Go ahead, Justin. You just got to do it like this. You just put a little crick in it. Put the little put a little notch in it, right? Okay. Almost. <laughs> very, very, very close. That's a V. Very, very close. But it might be a more of a V. But let's try to spell your name. Let's see. L E J N N. Oh, where's that O we made? Here. You put the O right there. Put the O at the end of those N's. Put it right there. I thought it was another Linen! Linen, that's your name, baby girl. L E N N O N. The next set of materials that we've gathered for our letter play are the marker, construction paper, and some Play-Doh. We're gonna make a letter. B for Brandon. All right, great job getting the Play-Doh, guys. All right, let's open up the Play-Doh and see what we got inside. There are a couple of different ways you could do this. Now, you could take those and you could actually trace over them. Like, I did a couple over here. I don't know what happened. Check this out. Did a couple over here and you can put them right on top so that's the letter c so what you would do is you get the play-doh and you see if you yeah. put it right on top all right so so you have the letter c there can you say this can you say c c all right and what sounds the letter c make what sounds it make <laughs> can you say can you say can you say <laughs> there you go good job all right e. here you want to move on to the next one yeah here you can I'm you want to do the E? Okay, good. Now here's what we do. Like, Isla, check this out. What I was saying is that maybe if you like put it down and then you can just sort of manipulate it from there. If you put the, I these right here, there you go. A pretzel. Oh, nice. I you made put, a put twist the, pretzel. Oh, and you put, some, put the salt on it and everything. Okay. But that's the letter D. D. One more way that you can explore your letter learning. We have a few of these fluffy balls here. We have some glue. We have some cardboard and cardboard letter cutouts. And we have some felt. The whole goal is to take this and end up with something that looks more like this. We are going to take these felt pieces and we're gonna decorate our letters. Okay, we have pipe cleaners on this too. So we can do a combination of different things and then we can top, we can put these on them or whatever we want to do. So, have at it ladies. A green one. Yeah. So put the glue right there and then we'll wrap it. I'm gonna spread it out with this little stick right here. I think that's what it's for, so we can manipulate the glue without using our fingers. No, so yeah. Here, put, put it down, put it down. Use your fingers, there you go. And then, when you get ready, you can move on. You're gonna do the purple piece, okay? Actually, you know what, at this point, you might need to start wrapping your A's like on the inside. Does that make sense? Yeah, press it down there yeah. a little bit and let it you know, let it dry as best you can. Yeah, yeah bam, exactly. I'm putting fluff on my little L. But put, maybe put a little bit more. 
that is tight. the wall. This is the letter A for I. This is the letter L for women. So we engage in the crafts as we always do with an emphasis on early literacy development. So with Lennon, we really spend a lot of time working on letter recognition. With Isla, we spend a little more time working on words and spelling. The girls had a whole lot of fun reactions today. And a lot of that comes from the engagement with the activity, the engagement with the crafts. That led to us having some real opportunities to connect, as well as them having good memories surrounding their learning experience. So during this video, we've offered you a few suggestions about how you can use a wide variety of different materials to create early literacy play, and in this particular instance, creating letters. The possibilities are literally endless. You can look around your house, find things that you may have that we didn't even think of, and use your imagination. And I guarantee you, if you use your imagination, your kids will start to use their imagination. You'll have a great time and you'll learn a lot. If your child is learning their ABCs, making the alphabet out of Play-Doh or modeling clay is a great activity to help them learn. It's fun and easy. I'll show you how. To make our Play-Doh alphabet, you need Play-Doh and some tools. You can buy Play-Doh tools at a toy store or you can use things lying around the house. You need a smooth surface to work on, a hard rolling tool like a can or a jar, a plastic knife to cut with, and then you can use whatever objects you find around your house that might make an interesting texture or shape in your Play-Doh. Let's start with blue and make a letter A. Using both of my hands to apply even pressure, I'm going to roll the Play-Doh out into a rope. Once it gets as long as I'd like it, I'm going to trim off the end, here and here. Fold this like that, trim off this, and there's our A. For B, let's try something a little different. We're gonna roll our dough out flat using the side of our jar. Flipping it over as you go so that you get a nice and even pancake. Now I'm gonna use my can to cut out two circles. Put them in the middle like this. And then from the rest of my pancake, I'm going to cut out a long line like this and set it along the sides of my circles. Now to make it look more like a bee, I'll use my bottle cap to cut out the center of each. Hey, bottle cap starts with B. And there we have our blue B. C is next. To make the C, I'm going to do another rope with purple. Rolling it out, nice and even. Trim off one end. And there's a C. But it's not that interesting, so I'm gonna use my knife to add little lines. C. Now to make the D, I'm gonna flip over my C and take some more of my rope I just made and put it on the end. To make it more interesting, I'm gonna add some dots with the back of my pencil. D for dots. D. For E, I'm gonna use purple again. And roll it out flat. Then I'm gonna use my knife to cut two equal strips. And I'll trim up the ends to make them neat. And I put one here and cut the other into three parts. There's your E. Take away the bottom and you have your F. For G, let's use green. I'll make a nice long rope again.
curve it up, put the end in like that, and there's your G. For H, let's use our green to roll out a nice big pancake. And this time I want to add some texture, so I'm going to use one of my cans to roll ridges along it. Then using my knife, I'm going to cut a rectangle. Then I'll cut out the top and the bottom, and there's our H. For I, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Now I'm going to roll up each little piece and make them into a ball. I start to form my letter I. And there's an I. The cool thing about the little balls is you can easily rearrange them to your next letter, J. Now K. So for K, I'm going to make a thicker rope than I've made before. Using my knife, I'll cut almost halfway down there and cut through the other side too. Flip it this way. Open up the legs, and there's our K. For L, let's do another flat piece. So first I'll make my long rope. Then I'm gonna roll down with my jar, smoothing it out as I go. Trim off the end, cut a short piece, then a longer piece. L for longer, put them both together, and there's our L. I'm going to use a chopstick to add lines. Line starts with L. Okay, M, M, M. Let's start with a mound, like the letter M for mound, and roll it into almost like a triangle until it starts to look like a little bit of a mountain. Now we're going to trim off the sides, cut down the middle, and there's our M and all its beautiful mountains. Next up is N. Let's stretch out a piece of rope, nice and long. Just make an N very simply, like that. To make our O, I'll use orange, and I'll roll it into the biggest pancake yet. I'll use my largest can to cut out a circle. Then I'll use my bottle cap to cut out the center. There's my O. For P, I'll cut a long strip from my leftover pancake and put it there. For Q, let's put a little strip in right there. There's our Q. For R, I'll cut the back of our circle off We'll add a strip back in here, and a little leg there, and there's our R. For S, I'm going to use green again and do something a little bit special. I'm going to roll out a rope but make it thin at one end and a little bit thicker at the other.
And this will help you remember your S because it looks like a snake. For my T, I'm going to use the green again, roll out another rope, Trim the ends. And use my forks, tines, to put a little print in it. Or add texture, which also starts with T. All right, we're winding down. For you, let's take two long ropes and twist them together. Now I'm twisting them up. Turn them up like that, up like the U. And there's our U. Now our last letters are kind of similar. So we're going to do them in a special way. Once again, we'll roll out a big pancake. This one happens to be pink. I'm going to cut four equal length strips. First, let's make our V. There's our V. Then we add two more. There's our W. Now we take those two and flip them over. There's our X. And take one away. We have our Y. For our final letter, we use our strips again to shape a Z. But let's make this Z something that kids can remember by giving it a little something extra. give it stripes like a zebra. Z for zebra. And there we have it. That's our alphabet. Try making alphabet letters out of Play-Doh with your kids. Not only will they have fun, the hands-on activity will help them learn and remember their ABCs. Show me all the cool letters you make at home by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type in comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Goose Club Playhouse.